the Paris attacks continue to add urgency to the international fight against ISIL. The US Secretary of State arrived in Paris on Monday to pay his respect to the victims and also to meet with President Hollande. He said the fight against ISIL is linked to the war in Syria, which the Vienna talks are addressing, but that efforts to tackle the militants must go on regardless. With Lebanon's attacks, with, with what's happened in Egypt, uh, with Ankara, Turkey, with the attacks now in Paris, uh, we have to step up our efforts uh, to hit them at the core, where they're planning these things, uh, and also obviously to do more on borders and in terms of the movement of people. In London, the British Prime Minister said he would present Parliament with a comprehensive strategy for tackling ISIL, including airstrikes in Syria. The more we learn about what happened in Paris, the more it justifies the full spectrum approach that we've discussed before in this House. You need an approach that covers the full range, military power, counter-terrorism expertise and defeating the poisonous narrative that is the root cause of this evil. Britain said it would almost double spending on cyber security and on increasing the number of intelligence officers and special forces. The Prime Minister also confirmed that he would attend the France-England football match in London on Tuesday evening.